Aries, welcome back to Toby's Book Corner and welcome to my first reading vlog. If it's a bit higgity haggity, a bit scattered all over the place, a bit awkward, just bear with me. I'll, I'll get used to this vlogging thing one day. <laughs> but in this vlog, I want it to be a lot more, you know, vibes, aesthetics, not too much talking. But of course, I'll interject here and there to actually talk about my thoughts on the books I'm reading and the books I'll be reading in this vlog. First will be oh, Cursed Bunny, which is by Bora Jung, and it's translated from Korean into English by Anton Herm. And it's essentially a collection of short stories which spans from horror to magical realism, sci-fi, comedy, and it's just social commentary on the real horrors in this world, such as the patriarchy, capitalism, all of that lovely stuff. And then I should also be starting Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I'll be reading that on my Kindle, the beloved classic. I just, I've been in the mood to read it, that gothic vibe. Of course, no spoilers. No, 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 we don't do that. Not in this channel, not in this safe space. And I hope you enjoy this reading vlog and let's get back into it. I mean to stop. <laughs> the first three stories in this short story collection and they are The Head, The Embodiment and Cursed Bunny and they've been fantastic so far like if this continues the way it's been this is gonna be five stars and that I feel like that's hard for a short story collection because it's rare that each one like stays to the same standard you know but so far, I'm loving the social commentary on the patriarchy, especially misogyny and what's expected of women in terms of, oh, well, you get married and the whole heteronormative nuclear family that's imposed on society. Um, just women need bodily functions, whether it's period or pregnancy or youth or you know getting older and aging the way it's like examined and explored in these stories which is so immersive these are really immersive it feels like a anthropology is that the right word um, anthrop anthropology you know those like series you get on tv like love death and robots one of my favorite series of all time on netflix or like black mirror it's giving that sort of vibe and it's wonderful um jung's writing is is very accessible very easy to get into like i want to finish that story there and then i'm not like pin it down getting bored very very immersive um so far i'm loving it no like lyrical or like, beautiful writing but very accessible very like to the point and it works perfectly obviously for these short stories where you've only got so many pages to just pack that punch and get across what you need and ah jung is getting across what they need so i'm loving this so far temperature has dropped so i've changed into something a bit warmer Love the angle. <laughs> Wow. 
what the hell? I've read two more of the stories, so I'm like halfway through. This is insane. I <laughs> think this is gonna be, this could potentially become an all time fave. What? Five, five short stories in a row. 10 out of 10. What? Borochin genius genius like how have i not heard of this author before and oh my gosh i would literally pay anton her good money for translating this into english i cannot if you read this the frozen finger that one i was having suspicions of what was going on but when it was confirmed and then seeing how it plays out i was like damn and then snare snare wow 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 this really shows you how greed how the love of money or wealth can oh things can go south real quick real quick the way you turn a blind eye to any of the moral laws or that govern our existence or society wow 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 like I just want to continue reading, but I'm also like, I don't want to finish it. Got five more stories. All five have been great. I can swear they're getting better. Usually they get worse as you go along, but they Ah! This is... I just had to quickly just share my excitement and just... Ah! I don't know how to even verbally say it, but... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Morning. So I literally just woke up and tell me what the first thing on my mind was. I have to finish this. I read two more stories last night before bed. Um goodbye my love and scars and uh, goodbye my love is the first story where i was like okay this was okay like still a solid if that story i rated it in itself still a solid like 3.5 whilst the rest would be like five and then we got to scars this is like i think the longest of the short stories um 50 pages when I tell you I fell in love with a character in those short 50 pages, like I was so, so invested in the outcome, in what happened to them, and like they are my baby now. And that the roller coaster of emotions, oh my goodness, the way it kind of delves into superstition, it delves into, um, I, I always got slight vibes of like animal cruelty i feel like you could interpret it in that way as well and revenge as well like you know generational curses almost in that sense just I, I, snare i did not expect to love it the way i did honestly like i'm so excited to finish the last three now i'm gonna do that now go onto the balcony have my breakfast a little sandwich of course a good cup of english breakfast tea and finish this and then i'll get on to frankenstein by mary shelley but i think this is going to be a new all-time favorite i oh, i never hesperated it <laughs> I just finished the next short story. I did not see the twist coming. I did not expect it. It was, ah, oh, the eeriness and this sort of like creepy feeling was maintained throughout. And the way it was speaking on misogyny and also capitalism and debts and loans and the vicious cycle you get in to pay them off. The slightly supernatural vibe to the story. I. I'm in awe, just got two more left. I, I will be shocked if I don't like these two and this is not a strong, 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 strong five stars. I finished it. Oh my gosh, five stars, five stars, no hesitation, easy. I think 
No, I think this is one of my all-time favourites now. Every single short story was incredible. There was one, Goodbye My Love, that I was like, enjoyable, not amazing, but the nine out of the ten were incredible. They were moving. The stories in and of themselves were like beautiful or really creepy or stressful or they got across the feelings, the emotions that Shun wanted us to feel and also then the social commentary in every single one of the stories, whether it was about um, capitalism, inequality that comes from capitalism, greed, wealth, misogyny, the patriarchy, um, the whole heteronormative nuclear family that's imposed on modern society, ageing, especially when it comes to women, everyone should read. It's very accessible. It's not any fantastical elements. It's not like epic or high fantasy, any sci-fi that's in it. It's very, it's not super like technical or very, very science-y, you know. Um, magical realism was done in a really like beautiful and ethereal and just unique way. Horror was done really well where you are like squirming, but also not where you're you know, sleeping with the lights on because you're that creeped out. It was just the perfect amount of each of these different elements or themes or tropes in each of these stories. Every single story was the perfect, perfect length. Like, I didn't want any more. I didn't wish it was any shorter. It was just... Oh. And apparently, um, Bora Chung has three novels and I think two other collections of short stories. I will be checking some of those out for sure. I'm hoping this could be a new favourite author, but of course that would depend on what I think of her other works, but wow, wow, like this was such, such an enjoyable experience. Um, and now I'll be moving on to Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, so I'll let you know what I think about that in this vlog too. So I'm like a quarter of the way through Frankenstein, I'm really enjoying it. I assumed that we'd be reading from the POV of Victor, the guy who creates Frankenstein, but the fact that it's actually from the captain of this ship, this boat, who's on his own expedition, and then it's through the series of letters, so we're kind of seeing Victor through the captain's eyes, and then obviously Frankenstein through Victor's eyes. I, I really love that sort of dynamic. I'm, yeah, pleasantly surprised, enjoying it. I'll read some more. Now we're actually probably going to get into the story of how Frankenstein came about and how, you know, Victor has ended up where he is on this boat. So I'm going to get back into it and I'll check in with you later. Um, how did I not know that Frankenstein isn't the name of a monster? It's a name for Victor person who created him, the monster. <laughs> am, I, am I the only one out of the loop? Did I miss the memo? Frankenstein's not the monster. So I'm halfway through Frankenstein. And initially, you know, slightly slow, but oh, I'm loving it. And um, now, like, hearing from the creature that Frankenstein created, my heart, I love, I don't know if their name or if there will be given a name, but I love the creature so much. And the writing, Shelley's writing is beautiful, it's lyrical and it's a classic so I kind of knew like the writing might be nice but not this amazing and also actually pretty accessible considering it was written in the 19th century but yeah I'm actually really enjoying myself so far. Um, 
if it continues on this trajectory like i feel like it'll get a very solid four star but i'm gonna continue reading later and i'll let you know if i continue enjoying my reading experience of it My last clip, you might have seen me say, Oh my gosh, I love the creature, the creation that Frankenstein made. Well, I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> no, I do still love the creation Frankenstein made. Just, oh, oh, can't get behind everything, everything that they're doing. Um, it's crazy, there's so much of this grey morality throughout this entire narrative and even though certain actions that happen are very black or white, you know, in terms of if they're good, evil, bad, some atrocious things happen but then because you understand perhaps the pain or the frustrations or the misunderstanding or the concerns, you can empathise and it just is making me think and so still loving it. I'm in the last stretch now, the next time I speak to you, I hopefully should have finished it. And then I'll also give a wrap up overall of Curse Bunny, Frankenstein, and yeah. I just finished Frankenstein and oh, so good. 4.5 stars, so close to hitting that, hitting the five. But um, there was a, like a slight bit in the middle where it kind of rambled on a little bit for me when Victor and his friend were traveling across the UK and I was like eh, okay like I'm kind of not as invested in the story right now but that was just for a short amount of time and once we got back into the meat of the narrative oh oh such a good good read. Shelley really illuminates the cyclical nature and the all-consuming nature of hatred and especially vengeance and funnily enough actually revenge and vengeance is also a big part of cursed bunny too so it's interesting that just by chance i happen to read both of these books in this reading vlog and i really love how poignantly shelley explores humanity and society and what it means to be human what it means to live a fulfilling life how one's idea of that is dependent on you know their upbringing or what they perceived as a good life and it's just such a great deep dive into that it was amazing the character studies of frankenstein of the monster of even some other characters and then also just the plot itself you really didn't know what was gonna happen like it there was so many more twists and turns than i anticipated the whole gothic nature and aspect of it interestingly enough reading the novel Frankenstein, especially the creation of Frankenstein, is so, so different to how it's portrayed in pop culture and the media. It's, yeah, very intriguing to see how people have really diverged from the actual characters in this book and this novel. So I'm really glad that I now actually properly know the story and tale of Frankenstein. And I'm so excited to read some more classics this year, hopefully. So to quickly wrap up this reading vlog, Cursed of Bunny, five stars, a new all time favorite, 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 favorite phenomenal look into the horrors of society with these different horror, magical realism, fable, fairy tales, sci-fi, short stories and I am in love with Bora Jung's writing and also Anton Herr's translation. I will link videos of both of them talking about this novel and the process and the inspiration in the description box below. And then Frankenstein was a solid 4.5 stars. I haven't read many classics but this is definitely a new fave along with the picture of Dorian Gray that I read last year and it's making me really appreciate gothic novels more. I really love 
novels where it's just that deep dive into humanity and kind of showing often the ugliness of humanity and also showing misunderstood characters and revenge and oh just an absolute joy and beauty and Mary Shelley was 19 I can't get over it because not just the plot was amazing but just the writing in and of itself beautiful exquisite amazing wow and I've really enjoyed reading those two books I'm so happy I had a good reading experience with both and I'll see you in my next video bye